I was just requested to start recording the meeting. <laughs> Good. Anything I said before? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I can tell Jim what I think of, right? <laughs> You guys, are we good with doing 21 23 then? Is sure. That what is? Okay. Yep. How about uh, 23? Hey, Rocco, are you on there still? Yeah, he's here. Maybe do a quick overview or no? Just keeps muting me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's just better that way. Oh, it's us. We need you. Yeah, I know. It's better not to hear me. <laughs> no, it's just background noise. When we get like two or three people unmuted, it really starts messing things up. Rocco, tell us what's happening here. So, so I'm not really that familiar with it, but because it, it, it's Anthony's, but it, it looks like she's subdividing that that whole parcel into two lots, one with the house on it and then the other one there. Um, it, it meets all the code. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, this is the lot one, the big one here, and this is lot two. They it meets didn't all the. Then she just setback. recently built. Then she just recently built that house, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I mean, she already had that pre-existing non-conforming two houses on one lot. She tore down the old one and built a new one, so we just kept that the same. But now she's separating that house and septic field and everything like that off of it. Okay. So no dimensional. Everything's, really, everything's here. No, no concerns whatsoever. Okay. Septic system shown, well shown, any NRI features are shown, any streams. I, I, I can't tell from looking at this plan. Yeah, nothing, nothing real. I mean, they're not building anything new or doing anything new. What's that and, in the back corner of lot two? Is that a structure? This is uh, the existing single family home. Oh, okay. so so both lots would have an existing structure on them, so they wouldn't so, be vacant lots. Okay. Yeah. So what what it was was this this lot on the north side of Benell Road had a house on it, and they demoed it and built a new house over here, meeting all the setbacks requirements and everything. So there was two houses on one lot before, there's two houses on one lot afterwards, but now they're subdividing this house off of it with its septic system, creating a conforming lot. It does, it's it's quite long and skinny. We might have to look at the code for that, but I think it still meets it. It's got frontage, you think? It's got the right it. amount of frontage and everything, so it's all good. Okay. Is there no existing driveway for that lot right now? Uh, this one right here? Yeah. It's it's kind of the road. I, I can show you the aerials. No, I just, from subdivision standpoint, typically we would ask that um, some type of a site distance be shown just to adequately demonstrate that we can put a driveway in without any concerns. But we already did that with site plan approval and they're already there. For that lot, for that new lot? For both houses, yeah. Okay, then never mind. This house right here? was demoed and this is the house that exists yep they're subdividing off and then there's the new house that was built here yep uh, okay. okay 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 needs a public hearing because of subdivision Yes. Seeker? Unlisted. And any referrals? I would send it, well, there's no improvements, it's just subdivision. So, yeah. um, I'm thinking. It would pretty much just be you, Lynn. <laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I guess that to be it. Yeah, there's no variances, no requirements. Everything's existing. They're just dividing the house off. Okay, just MRB. Thank you. Jim Fletcher, do you, do you have any, I mean, do they need any new water meters or anything like that on your concern? Yeah. When you have a second 
I think it's on Wells. There's still water out there, Lance. Yeah, that's Wells. Thank you. Okay, we're good then. Yeah. Uh, we had enough time to advertise the public hearing and have it on the 13th. That's up to Michelle. He's nodding up and down, so I would say yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. April 13th. 13th, yep. Okay. What else we got here? Genesi has two more. Did you do Vesuvius and Reinhardt? No. That's 28 and 29. Okay. I'll go to the And then there's also Fox Ridge. There's also Fox Ridge. So Vesuvius, is that the one we're doing? I killed the name and I apologize. Mm. Vasilius? Vasilius. Vasilius. Same thing if we do the existing conditions plan. That's a site plan for new single family home. Any overview from Rock Gold's team or are we good? I can give a quick yeah. overview. Um, Thank you. Yep, so there is, the site is vacant. There um, is access from Lake Westlake Boulevard proposed. Um, this, this particular parcel being developed is just north of our other application that was submitted um, for the Reinhardt residence. So the, um, the, the site plan includes the proposed access drive, uh, new, new water, sewer connections, um, and the residence with the patio at the front, a uh, lakeside. There is um, a spa, which is hard to see proposed. It probably shows up a little bit better on the landscape plan, but um, that is lakeside, but against the front of the building. So it would be technically um, in the side yard. We have the covered, the covered porch area that's extends out that we're measuring our, yeah, that we're measuring the front, the, the setback from to the lake. Okay. Well, the patio and steps and everything like that would be part of the main structure. So they would be the setback requirement. Okay, so I'll, I'll Change, I'll adjust that setback then to be to the step. But it still meets the 60 foot. So. Yeah. Uh, another big thing is the, the stream. It's a DC stream. So that's the old 100 foot setback requirement. So as part of um, the, as part of the two projects, the owners are hoping to do some improvements to that, the, the stream. So that is part of, um, that will be part of a joint effort. Yeah, I, I saw the landscaping plan showing kind of, okay. the thing is the stream is a DEC stream. I don't know if it's classified as a trout stream or not. I know there is fish in it and stuff sometimes. Uh, so that's gonna be an article 15 protection of waters permit and stuff like that. If you're tent, planning on doing any stabilization of concrete. I know there's like, there's a lot of weird stuff going on there where there's wood holding up stuff. So yeah, definitely gonna need permits before I issue a permit. Yeah, we know that we know that there'll be a separate permitting process or running at the same time as this, but a permitting process for that work. And you're right, there is a lot of weird stuff happening. There's a couple old culverts in the Westlake Road, Westlake Boulevard section of that um, and then there are some timber walls and some decking, and they just, as part of this work, want to improve that. Um, and as, far, as far as the culverts, we're going to want to see, I mean, we've had a couple issues recently where people put the culverts in, didn't bury them deep enough. So the bottom of the culverts, the bottom of the stream, it needs to be at least 20% down so that it's a natural floor to the bottom of the culvert, not a pipe for the bottom of the stream, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, the standard DEC details. 
Yeah, that stream's on the uh, radar of the drainage committee also. Yeah. It was a problem over at uh, Westlake Road. Yeah, the, the culverts going under Westlake were, mm. they were having some uh, water seeping around the edges of them. So it's all got to be looked at, I guess. Yep. Not but much we can do because that's county kind of your... True. I get it. Yeah. Did they, so we don't need a variance for the setback, right? They, they're over the 100 foot requirement? No, they're, they're within 100 foot. Okay. Lot coverage uh, just made it, huh? They planned pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> Building height just made it. <laughs> Maximizing the property. That's good. So I mean, the lot next door and this one, they both show uh, kind of the landscaping plan for the stream and the, the lakeside and everything. That's nice. Yeah, Ted did a nice job on that. On both of them. Got the species oh, yeah. identified and everything. I don't know if this one has it. Okay. Well, they do they do propose some stuff on the shoreline and everything. But they do also show a lot of stones Trees. and rocks and boulders and a lot of stuff going on with the stream. So again, that's gonna have to be ironed out with the DEC. Are they in a flood zone, Chris? They are most definitely in the flood zone, but I believe the elevation 690, yeah, they'll be good. Well, we have the flood zone associated with, um, we have the AE flood zone associated with the lake, mm -hmm. and then also a flood zone associated with the stream. Yeah, that's what that, I was wondering, the stream. Yeah, that, that's shown, as you can see, graphically plotted it is um, a flood zone without elevation so it is shown shown graphic it's, it's kind of, yeah undefined yeah so that's on the that's on the south side of this parcel yep. so any uh, drainage structures culverts they're the responsibility they're privately owned and maintained yeah, as far as on Westlake Boulevard and stuff, they're also showing quite a bit of uh, green infrastructure, dry wells, infiltration and stuff going all the way around the house and stuff. So it's a, it's a nice plan. Yeah, I was looking at that. Looks good. Well, you might as well get to the one to the south, Chris. Yep. Brian so again, Arnold. I'm just going to ask for existing conditions plan on both of them kind of thing. This is the one to the south. Is this the old uh, Cook property? It yes. Okay. I believe they already filed and took care of the subdivision and lot line combination and stuff. Yes, no, Aaron? Oh, um, yeah. I, I don't think you did. I don't, uh, Anthony probably was running with that. I don't know. Um, because yeah, because right now this is what we have with multiple lots and everything. But I think it was yeah, filed that's, already. Yeah, that's all been taken care of. It was all done by annexation. Okay. So same deal. This one needs a variance because it's too close to the stream. Uh, meets all the setback requirements. Otherwise, the old chart. Chris, this has to go to the ZBA then first? Uh, yes. Yep. So we'll add yeah. ZBA to the uh, to the list then, April 20th. Yeah, and if you guys could get your uh, an application in for ZBA variants set back to the stream before Friday. That's not a problem. Cool. And John, just to be clear, that would be for both both of the applications. Yes, I have it noted for both. Yep, no, thank you. What's the what the other is the Reinhardt, right? This is Reinhardt, the other is Vasilius. Okay. So two eight and two nine. They both go to ZBA. Yep. Yep. For single variants. Yep. 
You'll need public hearings then for the variances. Yeah. So you're going for uh, address of County Route 16 on this one? That's correct. You're not going to extend Westlake Boulevard over the stream? Correct. Okay. Are you going to then remove access across the stream as far as the culverts and stuff or? No, there's no, I think the intention is to, is to generally keep, keep the access as it is. Um, it may end up getting improved just if we end up improving the culverts that are currently by Westlake Boulevard. I think, um, I think because the construction of the two residents are going to be occurring at similar times and coupled with the fact that they will be doing the stream improvements between the two properties, um, I think they'll wanna maintain the access of at okay. West Boulevard, so. You also on your site plan kind of, this just dies off right here. It doesn't show a property line here. I think that's where Westlake Boulevard ends. Yeah, know. we'll include the survey plan. I might've turned off a layer on my site plan. Um, so okay. I'll just, um, we can include that and make sure that's uh, more visible. Yeah, just so we know the neighboring properties and stuff. Cause I think the county owns a tiny lot there as well. Lance, any comments? I mean, Fletcher, do you have anything additional to add that we haven't talked about? No, the only question I ever have is why they want such a large water service. An inch and a half water service. I just curious how much water That's they Jim Fletcher. So it's an expensive meter, it's an expensive minimum bill. I'm thinking they really need an inch and a half water service. Well, we'd be we'd be happy to look at that. I mean, we can look at you know the anticipated fixtures at the house, and you know hone in on the size of the service. Um, provide some backup calculations if you'd like. Just looking to save some money for the landowner because that minimum bill for inch and a quarter is not inexpensive, especially if they're not there in the winter. Sure, we can we can look at that. I mean, other comments that I'd have since you are coming off County Route 16, you're not coming off Westlake Boulevard, is distance from a, a roadway, stuff like that, fire department access, single family dwelling, uh, driveway width. There's an existing um, driveway apron that's there now that we're tying into. So we can add, um, well, I, I believe there is, um, but we can add that information. No, as far as like, because every certain distance you need to pull off and stuff like that. So if you can just look at that appendix for fire apparatus and modify the plan accordingly. Sure. Chris, that uh, sauna or hot tub on the other lot, I uh, just thought of it. Is that an issue or has that been taken care of with our new regs regarding? It's been taken care of with our new regs. It fits kind of within the setback in the building envelope. I mean, this spa and the other one does. Okay, good. Aaron, will they have irrigation here? Um, I don't I don't know if they will. Can I don't know the answer. Question? Chris referrals on these two? I have a list <laughs> that I started. Tell me where I'm wrong. All right, we have Jim Fletcher uh, for water. We have Kenda Lake County Sewer District for sewer. We have Ontario County DPW for the roadway. ECB, Kevin Olvaney. We have the, the fire marshal, or excuse me, fire department. Uh, I had MRB group. I know sometimes we forward it to New York State DC. I'm not sure if we're going to do that here. And then I added the drainage committee, Chuck, but I'm not sure if that you want them on there or not. And I don't uh, think we've ever. Oh. 
Yeah, I, I'll, 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 I'll handle that. Yeah, you don't need a separate submittal. That's right. I, I would go Ontario County Planning Board too because of the variance. Oh, yeah. Stuff. I missed that. Thank you. And the DEC stuff, well, I'll, I just won't issue permits until I get that all figured out as far as the screening stuff. Mm -hmm. And then these referrals will be for both applications, kind of combining them. Correct. Uh, except for the, the one to the north, probably doesn't need to see uh, County Highway. Oh, yeah, because it's an existing driveway. Is I guess. Ryan, is that the Reinhardt? You know, I would just send it to them anyway because whatever improvements that go along the right of right away might be, okay. maybe they want to know. I don't know. Okay. okay. I think it just covers us just in case. There we go. More paper. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Seeker lands? Residentials type two. Okay. And nothing proposed for the. Uh, as far as docking moorings, uh, and, and and like Chris said before, it's something he takes care of. But I just want to see if you're any plans to put a dock in, in the water for either one of these. There's a boathouse existing. They got to figure that out, and the neighbors talk to him about that and stuff. So it's kind of a boathouse that can't really be accessed by the lake anymore. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, we'll probably ask the question of the planning board. Right. Is next. Let's see. Oh, and that other one before we leave, I know it's an issue with uh, my guys. Uh, roof trains, uh, do they go into a uh, uh, some sort of filtration system? They're not, they're not oh, yeah, they're directly into the creek, are they? No, they have a whole... Uh, all, all the roof, all the roof are directed to infiltration. Okay. Okay, we should do Fox Ridge. Fox Ridge. Okay, which one's that? Separate. Twenty zero five eight. Twenty dash zero five eight. Okay. All the new stuff's at the bottom. I'm staying out of this one. Fletcher and Lance can come in on this one. Can't hear you laughing, Jim. <laughs> I'm on mute. I thought so Rocco promised, promised we were done with this. I thought Rocco promised <laughs> we were done with this. Okay, so, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can. So, Erin's still on. She designed. She redesigned it. Now, you guys approved this back in October. Not this, <laughs> but yeah, a facsimile, right? It's not very different, Chuck. You think it's different? Uh, yeah, a little bit different. Okay, go ahead. So, so we ran into a bus saw with the city of Candago, okay? Um, even though I own the land and I should be able to cross it, and it, and that sewer lines or that water line's been crossed so many times. Uh, you know, you can't build a water line that goes from the city of Canandaigua down to the water pump without crossing roads and stuff. So, so whatever, I feel like it was unfounded, but we're not going to go there. So, so what they wanted me to do, which seemed really <laughs> kind of impossible, they want, they wanted me to have the town. So if they had to get to the water line, the, the, the easement specifically states they have to repair in kind. Well, they wanted to change the easement to say that the owner of the land had to repair in kind, which meant if I did this project and kept it over the water line and they ripped up the cul-de-sac for $250,000, a town would have to pay for it. And your attorney didn't really want to do that, and I don't blame them. So then, so then they talked about giving, me giving a letter of credit so in case it ever gets wrapped up, ripped up. But I can't quite figure out, me and the bank, how to do a perpetual letter of credit for $250,000. So, so we moved to call the sack. So that's why, that's the only reason we're back here. Uh, nothing else changed. 
Um, I lose a lot, so it's not been a good deal for me, but here we are. And um, we, we thought we'd already be building houses and we're not, uh, but whatever. Um, so kind of that's where we are. I don't think nothing's really changed, guys. Um, there's a little less grading going on. There's one less house. Um, looks pretty straightforward to me. So uh, procedurally, what do we have to do? Uh, we've got to amend. Uh, Lance, can you help us, sir? Yeah, so so the, I believe the goal would be to ultimately get them scheduled for a planning board meeting to a, to come in for an amended, what I've identified as an amended final phase uh, 5B3 plan approval, if I'm correct. Um, and then that would also require them to go back to the county and same referral list as we did the first go around um, just to make sure there's no issues that we don't identify as part of the review process. And that's how I was making the list. Um, I, I did, MRB group did issue a comment letter on this um, recently. Uh, in summary, what it was is basically our previous comment letter. Um, uh, and then I think there might've been one or two different comments that were newer based on the changes that were being proposed, but ultimately it was pretty much verbatim to our, our last comment letter, which is understandable. They were going through the review process prior to making the amendments to the, or revisions to the plan to address our comments. They were dealing with the stuff that Rocco had identified. So, um, so a lot of our comments were still pretty much the same. Um, and uh, I'm not, I think ultimately we were, we'll need to get some uh, comments back from Fletcher to see if he has any major concerns uh, based on the revised plan and then send it back to the city and the county to see if they have any issues. I don't know if anybody's got anything to add. Do we have any comments on sidewalks or anything like that? So MRB group identified that they need to have the easements shown in the plans. Um, ultimately, the original filed easement for that first section, I'm not I'm not quite sure if that's been done yet or not, um, but that would ultimately probably be a condition of approval to get that first section filed so that we have a continuation going forward. Yeah, but I don't think the whole subdivision has any sidewalks in it, so, all right. Not yet. Yeah. But that first section there was required to have easements and then I yeah, the thought that the planning board required sidewalks on this section, but I could be wrong. I can't recall. Okay. Oh, it was uh, provide the easements, and I guess that would be extended into the bubble here. No, we asked for additional easements. We're losing you, Lance. You're I know. Like I keep every once in a while it happens. So I'm looking at the conditions back from September, and. The one condition was that it had to have the easements continued throughout this section. Chuck, mm -hmm. I don't know if you have anything additional on that, but I believe we required sidewalk easements to be provided. Yep. Yep. And I think uh, I think the uh, applicant agreed to it. Yep. Yep. Um, so what would that, I'm sorry, go Rocco. Um. Hello. I hear you, Rocco. Okay. What was the question? I'm sorry. No, I thought you had something to add to that on the sidewalk easements. So I contacted. So unfortunately, this thing kind of dragged along, and it it's, it definitely is my fault. Um, um, but the Gerber owned the lots recently. So they had to be the ones to convey it. And I talked to their attorney the other day and as of yet, I don't believe they're, they're, they're done, but I told them they have to get that done. So, uh, so right now I just don't have the easement filed. Um, um, so I just, I just want you guys to be aware of that, that's all. 
As far as the ones that already exist on Lacrosse Circle? The, well, first of all, there are no sidewalks uh, being built. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying yeah. you're talking about who there, has there to are no existing. There's no right now, as of right now, the easements were never filed for 5B2. So there's there's no easement in place. I have I have to do that. Okay. But what I'm yes, saying I have is to get that those price. properties, those properties are no longer owned by Gerber, they're owned by all these multiple homeowners now. But they but they all know that they have to give that easement. So it's not like it's a surprise to them. Okay. And and to that to that extent, Chris, I, I, I would I would assume that the planning board would make that a condition of a final approval that those easements be filed prior to something occurring on 5B3. I would also presume that that 5B3, which was a previous as, as part of the original approval, the planning board did add a condition that that section be dedicated to the town. And I believe we agreed, Rocco, prior to C of O for the first building on 5B3. I don't recall. I'm trying to say find that it again. Say that sure. again. Sure. The I believe one of the conditions uh, as part of the original approval of 5B3 was that dedication of the roadway and infrastructure associated with 5B2 is to be completed and then accepted by the town board prior to issuance of building permits for 5B3. So as part of that dedication, those easements have to be in place is what I'm saying. Those sidewalk so, easements. So, so the one thing I, I thought it was uh, at time of, of um, C of O, but, but it doesn't matter. I'm working on both of them, so. Yeah, I, I'm reading from the previously done one and I can't recall if we amended it, Rocco. We may have. Okay. Um, so that would be up to you guys in the board to agree upon, but I'm sure- I would, I, would, I would prefer before issuance of- uh, Building um, permits? Building permits, because honestly, the whole C of O thing, I got owners and Gerber moving into houses saying, can I have temporary C of O's and everything like that? And I don't like being that guy to these, these future that's owners saying- fine. That, That's fine, Chris. I, we can do that. That's not a problem. Okay. I, I understand that 100%. Okay. <laughs> Jim, I don't know if you have anything additional to add. No, the um, water mains located correctly, services are, are better off this, where they're labeled correctly. Um, I believe everything's got clearance now. That was one of the concerns that Rocco had for getting over and under stuff. So I think he's got that solved. I agree. And I think we uh, concluded that uh, our code does not have a minimum uh, lot width at the right away line. Uh, so it does not. I mean, it has okay. recommendations as far as lot width compared to length, but that's another section. Uh, how does that uh, comply in terms of the shape? It doesn't, of it doesn't apply to this. Okay. All right. I know that was a question you had before. Jim, there's yeah. uh, plenty, plenty of driveways to lose the snow in here. And that level. <laughs> well, you can just, your rooster tail keep falling off into the driveway. So. Okay, Lance. No, I think, I, you know, just, as referenced before, the street trees um, would be required to be removed from there right away. I know, Rocco, you guys are aware that I'm just reiterating for the record today. Um, I don't know if anybody has any objection to that. I haven't heard anything, but I'm just pointing that out. Right, right. So Lance, this is a final, final plan approval, uh, assuming it say uh, it's substantially in compliance with the preliminary approval yeah i don't i mean um i don't believe their approvals have run out on 5b3 so i'm calling this an amended box with 5b3 phase subdivision approval unless somebody could tell me i'm wrong final final plan yeah yeah okay. amended final phase subdivision approval okay okay very good any referrals or we're just good on it 
Yeah, I would say, John, the referrals that we had previously identified for this were Jim, uh, was ECB, was Ontario County Planning Board, MRB Group, DPW, Ontario County DPW. Uh, we had Chris, CEO, Canandaigua Lake County Sewer District, Kevin Olvaney. We had the fire chief. We had DOH. And then we had the city Canandaigua. We just pick them all up again. Yeah, I would say, just okay. to confirm that there's no outstanding issues from their end. Yep. Second meeting, the April 27th meeting, planning board. Do you think? Second meeting. Okay, April 27th. We'll pick up all the referrals and, and do that. Okay. That can't be on the 15th? Not with all the referrals. Pardon me? With all the referrals and stuff? Lance? Michelle? Oh, because, County, we don't get that back until after the first meeting. So, the comments. So, the health department is ready to sign off. And Jack Braun has the plans. He's had them for two weeks. So, we haven't referred them to him yet. But I did. I know I, I know I'm not supposed to. Now, there you go again. That he has to get the stamped plans as received by the town to be referred to other people. We can't, we can't keep doing this. I'm never going to do it again, but so we're, so, we're so. referring to him after this meeting and sending him the plans we have. It's just, it's just, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. It's just, if, if we're holding it up because these guys don't, can't do their review and they've got the review done, he sent, he sent us their comments. I guess I don't get it, but you know. Count, count, County Planning Board. Okay. We don't get, we don't get their comments back before the first meeting. I understand. Okay. Hey, what else we got? A lot. Oh, let's see. We got the solar. Wait, is that it with um, Fox Ridge 5B3 then? Yep. So. Okay. Rocco, do you guys have anything additional before we, I don't think there's any other applications on here. So, so the one thing I wanted to, um, it, it's not about anything that's on agenda, but if, if I just had a chance to talk to you for two seconds about something, I don't know if you're, willing to let me bring it up. Is it a project not on the agenda? Okay, forget I said it, I'm gone, good night. What the hell? It's, it's just unbelievable. God damn it. We got 18 projects. Thank you all very much. Um, good to see you, Aaron. <laughs> it's nice to see you all too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Okay, we off to the solar one. Well, okay, you got uh, Peter's been waiting for PMA. Which one's he? Uh, that was uh, 022, I believe. Yeah, we're uh, Rochester Road. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, take care of it. He's been waiting patiently. Sketch plan. Oh, okay. So that one's pretty straightforward as far as. They need a bunch of variances because it's a crazy shaped lot. Sketch plan review. Okay. But we're just doing sketch now, right? So eventually yep. you'll need the variances. Yep. Uh, okay. This is where KFC was going to go at one time. It's where the uh, property got. Cleared yeah, and grubbed things. and then yep. left it. Now we're looking at a potential commercial building. Okay. Well, I know I've seen it enough times. I should. 
But I mean, as far as for the shape of the property, it looks like they're doing what they can do on a property yep. of this shape. Tough lot. Yeah. Biggest issue is always access. We always say, boy, it'd be sure nice to be able to use the light traffic signal, but it's, you know, one time you were going into the uh, next door to the, to the south. Which it, which it looks like they're doing still. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You, you had an easement there, right? Correct. There yep. is a cross access easement. And that was a new driveway or an existing driveway? Now we're using both existing curb cuts. Okay. So it would not mean any new uh, there it is. Yep. encroachments. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I, yeah, well, I think it's good to go to the uh, planning board. We could probably do this on the 13th. I, sketch plan, I don't think we uh, send it out to. Uh, no referrals or anything. Yet. Many or if referrals. I mean, it is on I mean, state highway. Do you, well, I guess maybe you want to send it to NIDOT just to whet yeah. their appetite. Yeah, might as well see what they say. And they're, they're avoiding all the uh, easements with buildings and stuff like that, pretty much placing them in the parking lot. Because mm. they have one here, one here. Right. right. And I Chris, guess, I'm sorry. No, Chris will just have to determine what variances are going to be needed if this plan goes forward. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Thank you. I mean, it's the front setback, uh, rear setback, parking setback open space and well the good news is on the front is uh, it would be in compliance with the uptown in terms of maybe even getting the parking at, well yeah i mean the future uptown and everything yeah like the that. future moving buildings forward but i mean if the if they really showed what was developable on this lot based on all the setback requirements it's like a little triangle yeah. Yeah, Chris, yeah. there is a we did submit a plan. The existing condition yeah. plan does uh show huh, the little triangle. Uh your, your building envelope uh, or actually um uh, postage stamp. Yeah, that's the aerial we did. Actually it was the last drawing in that folder or the okay. last file. There it is. <laughs> There you go. All right. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the shaded area. 10 by 10, by 10 building. So that's really yep. <laughs> yep. So, pretty, yeah, pretty so, straightforward. Yep. And the, just so you know, the other variance that we did identify in the sketch plan would be uh, for parking, uh, total spaces provided, because uh, it is going to be a mixed uh, commercial office. Uh, building that we've noted there in the table requiring 78 spaces per our interpretation and okay. the site provides 62. I, th I think depending on your uses and maybe you don't know the uses yet we can whittle that down. Right. Right. Oh, tasting room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peter, <clears throat> can you just change the water to Kennegal Farmington water? Yes. Yes, Please. we'll do. Jim. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll see you on the yeah. 15th then. Yeah, uh, sorry we, yeah. we had you spent so long. <laughs> yeah, th thanks for spending the morning with us. <laughs> it's okay. At least I was able to do other things versus just sitting out in the lobby all morning. <laughs> so not a problem. <laughs> so. Chris, does it just go to the DOT? Or maybe sketch plan? Yeah. Maybe? yeah, pretty much. Okay. Just have to take and a look. And Lance for any comments and stuff. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Now we can go. If you want to go back to solar. Yep. How's the uh, plan looking, Chris? Still, still really lacking. Okay. It's. I don't know if any of the guys were going to be here on PRC. None of them are. 
they said the the site was surveyed, which I find kind of questionable because they they say this is a survey, but if you look at it, that means they surveyed all the way out to the baseball fields in County Road Ten. It looks more like lidar contours or something like that. They identify a bunch of wetlands, federal wetlands. Sorry. Hi, Lance. Dropped your uh, breakfast. Has his phone on his coffee mug. But I mean, on it, aisle six. I would just like an existing surveyed conditions plan showing actual topography and stuff. Their proposed stuff is kind of generic. You can see their grading. The grading actually doesn't even tie into the existing or proposed grades. It's just a it's just a poor plan. Yeah, I mean, it, it's simple enough to the point where we were pretty clear the last time they needed a survey in order to be compliant. They didn't do that. Um, Chris, just out of curiosity, I thought they had requested to be on today's PRC because they want to have an opportunity to talk with everybody, yep. but they're not here. Is that correct? That it is correct. I said no problem coming to the PRC. We'll treat them like any other project if they can get the stuff by Friday. They'll be put on the planning board agenda. Okay, Friday. But really, I mean, they they show federal wetlands with equipment inside them. I mean, this this Driveway. is wetland. right. Is wetland. With no reports that justify it or sign offs that justify it at this point. There's nothing really. There's and then it doesn't show a survey that when they surveyed it, who delineated it. Says Bergman delineated federal wetland, but it doesn't really say when, where, how, and who did it, and there's a study to go with it. Uh, yep. The, the, the grading is something like LIDAR or something, because it really isn't something done in the field. And they show a stormwater management plan, but they don't really show other stuff. And then so they say, oh, the driveway is going to be permeable access road. All they write is gravel material and geogrid material. It doesn't really say pervious, impervious, how they're going to do it. And no, th gravel, they don't. <laughs> gra gravel is concrete after a year. Really. Yeah, well, that's the argument. They're, they're all these, these companies, and I'm not trying to poke fun of these guys, but they're all coming in with that same idea that they believe gravel is determined to be a permeable surface, and therefore they get, they get credit towards the stormwater for yeah, that, and they the, don't. They don't. But the DC, the DC said that's not the case. No, 100% agree with you. 100%. And that would be our comment as well. It does not comply in that regards. And then we got a, a building permit application that says, uh, I don't know, it was like 25 to 25. Fence is 10 feet. So I don't know if they're proposing a 10 foot tall fence. <laughs> So they may need a variance. I don't know what they're proposing. It's this it says proposed eight foot high perimeter fence. The application for the thing. Chris, those uh, I don't know what the scale is, but it doesn't show our uh, easement through their permanent easement for water main where those trees are for screening, so. Well, I know, that's the thing I said, they need to provide an existing condition survey plan and they keep saying, this is what we got. And I'm like, no, that looks like, because if you look at it, that means they surveyed all the way out to Correct. here, which they didn't, so. It's just LIDAR, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. That's that, so. So we're pretty much gonna, unless they can get this stuff to us by Friday, we're gonna reject it again. Okay. Well, just put on one notice. We discussed it at PRC and it's still incomplete. Yeah, same, same as last month. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much, unless they, unless they can get us everything by Friday and then we'll just kind of do an internal little review and who's got to be referred to and comment on it. Right. I mean, I know their goal is to get on so they can begin the seeker process, but as Chris said, they're not, they're not compliant with the application cross criteria yet. Yeah which makes it incomplete, which doesn't start any clock. Right. And if they end up needing a variance, that's going to change the game a little bit too. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. How are we doing? You want to go in order? Uh, you want to do uh, Here we go. 15 subdivision. Yep. One's pretty straightforward, too. So we got uh, this little piece right here is getting just lot line combination to the existing one. This is lot one. And then this is lot two with after the annexation. I can show you kind of Hickox and Bliss. Do, 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 do. Five, five, six, five, what it looks like now. So it's turned a little bit, but like this lot right here. See, that's the thing. Is it a lot line combination or is it a subdivision? Are they just, are they creating a new lot or just reshifting the lines? Well, that's the question. So we got, we got this lot. Oh, yep. okay. That's what they're creating. They're creating this lot, which used to be connected to this one. I gotcha. Lot see it has lot two out here and lot one out here. Yep, yep. And they're getting rid of that little connection and connecting that. So it is a sub. Yeah. But here's okay. the question. So on the, the plat plan, do they have to there there we go? Do they have to show all the meets and bounds of this huge parcel here? Mm, the lot they're creating though is the one internally, right? They're creating lot one, which lot one and lot two are combined right now. Yep. With this little tiny skinny thing in between. They're combining yep. that little skinny thing with this lot, and then lot one's being created. Standard lot. Two. So lot, lot two technically is a new lot. Yeah, I would think they would, Chris. I don't know. I mean. I, I understand what you're thinking, but I'm, I, I don't know how they don't provide the meets and bounds around the whole thing. Well, that's the thing. Did they scoot this over to the upper left and kind of try to fit it in? Because it would take a whole other page to do it. Yeah. Or can they, do, can they do a little key plan? I don't know. Hmm. Because okay. for, the, for the county records, I think they're going to need the entire lot. Yeah, so I mean, we need we need to see what lot two looks like. Yeah, you're gonna need to meet some bounds for all that, so you can create a deed. Uh, and fortunately, uh, there's not too many breaks. It's pretty straight. Uh, there's no curves, no arcs on yeah. the lot, so they should be able to uh, show that on a. So we're we're gonna be able, we're gonna have to see lot number two in its entirety somehow. Yeah, right I now agree. they're emphasizing. Well, lot one's going to also be a super lot, so you got you need to meet some bounds on that also. Yeah, yeah, no, lot one's right here, so they're all good there. Yeah, but they're breaking one from two by taking away that uh, strip, right? Yep. Okay. That little so, strip's going on this one, and lot yep. is lot one. So you'll have a deed for lot one, and you'll have a deed for lot two yeah, with a legal a description. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Just Who's need to yeah see it all. Yep. Who's going to write that to them? <laughs> do, I, you, do, I, you, do I send an email to them or is it something you're going to write in the comments? Or I Put it in the minutes. You need the meets and bounds for lot number two. And okay, for lot number good. two to be shown in its entirety. Yep. Thanks, John. Okay, got that. Any referrals on this? Subdivision. Um, it's only a one lot subdivision. No um, construction. Right. And they have existing driveways, Chris? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not doing any new construction. It's an agricultural entrance and stuff. Right, but there would be no new driveways technically in the future proposed, at least not yet. No, I list. mean, this is the driveway to get to it right now. Yep. Perfect. So they would have a lead. Okay. I, 
I don't see any reason other than what do we typically do? This is just internal subdivision, so creating Pretty a new lot, county. Mr. Chris, see you. Yeah, I, I'd keep it simple. Unlisted. Unlisted. It will need a public hearing for the subdivision. Correct. Thirteenth. Looking, looking what we got right now. We have because uh, those. When are those um, amended lots Venezia's, coming in? Uh, 27th is Venezia. Okay. Oh, so you I, mean for uh, Morel? Well, that wouldn't be till May anyway. Is that no? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, the Venezia ones are 27th. So yeah, if we can put this one on the 13th, I think that'd be better. Okay. If that works for you guys, Michelle and everybody else. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Greg Snyder wants to put a deck on his front porch. So what we got is a kind of an existing old survey that shows the distance from the right-of-way being 67.8. And he did a kind of a sketch site plan showing that it's going to be 60 feet to the entrance deck, which I don't think needs a variance. Hmm. Michelle, she's hiding. She's on the phone. <laughs> See, that's the, I didn't know. The building application. 60 feet. Uh, what's the setback? 60? That's 60. Michelle, you there? What's up? What's for this up? one, where they're putting the deck on the front of the house, mm -hmm. what do we? It looks Isn't like it, it meets safe? all the setback. It looks like it meets the setback requirements and everything. I don't know. He talked to you and said he you said he needed to have a variance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that, technically he's 67. He's He could be uh, less than a foot short. Yeah, I'm kind of good with that and just going to issue a building for it. Let's ignore <laughs> this one. Okay. Give me his money back. Time. Give me his yeah. money back. Yeah, when you guys get bombarded with applications, I don't, I can totally understand. No, I... I I think he was talking on the phone being too close to the thing, but now he had an existing server that shows he's not, and I hadn't seen it yet. Nope. Totally get it, man. It's good. Keeping it moving. Yeah. So he doesn't fine. need a variance, then. He's good. Let's just do that for a minute. Thank you. 2119. All right, 2119. Brand. Site plan. Let's build a house. New single family dwelling. Wow. Who created all these crazy shaped lots? Yeah. I don't know. Where's Venenzia? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's strike who, that. The well, who approved them? That's what I'm. Oh. All right. So this guy's got a, uh, he's got a dog leg lot with the, Driveway going up the hill, I guess. The golf terminology. The dog leg to the left. Dog leg left. Uh, <laughs> it's septic system, single family home, uh, steepness of the driveway. Really it steep. This existing gravel road. What's the address on the phone? 5740. Oh, this is the one, the one where we gave him permission to start putting a driveway in. Correct. He uh, put a culvert in. There's a stream. He came in here and put an access drive to get to just get onto the property and start working on things. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, this one's pretty straightforward. Single family dwelling, no variances requested. Driveway, you said is steep or could be steep? It, it, it's not horrible, yeah. but it's it, it, it'll be fun in the winter. Okay, but he's got a landing zone down at the street, right? Yep, <laughs> you'll have to put uh, pavement in there and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that, do the paving. Okay. <clears throat> No steep slope compliance requirements on this? Uh, it's possible. Are we ask him? I mean, it is sloped and he's putting his house on the side of it, but. I guess if it's, if it meets the requirements that technically they have to provide justification or whatever that the regulations require, we should probably note it and then work our way through it as part of our review. Yeah. I don't know what the slopes are out there. Good, good luck measuring the height of the building. Uh, maybe having his uh, 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 building drawings might help too. See, I don't think where he's putting the house or anything like that. He might like be that. outside of it. He's, out, he's outside of anything over 15 Okay, according to this, okay. you're right. Just look, yeah, so, look busy when you're looking at the site plan. Yeah, so we're good there. It's just, yeah, I mean, he's got quite a distance he's covering with that driveway. So it's, okay. it's under 15. It's under 15, too? Okay. Okay, <clears throat> and then he's gonna have water connection, sewer connection. Yeah. No, it's a well and, and well. sewer. Yeah. Hey, I'm learning, Jim. I'm learning. Okay. <laughs> Boy, Jim's here to teach us. Exactly. You no, know, he's he's sticking around for the whole meeting today. Hey, Wait. sunshine, no snow. Help me get answers back a little bit quicker when that, all that paperwork comes over. <laughs> all right all right Those, it looks pretty straightforward for my end as well what yeah, is I mean, this shows, referrals you'll have to get the septic system approved by the is it inside the watershed it, yeah i want to say yes dun, dun, off dun, the wool house yep most definitely mm -hmm. So Tyler oh. O. Yep, definitely. Yep. Chris Jensen, ECB, no. Uh, no. Nah. MRB. Uh, actually, no. What about the Ag Review Board? Ooh. Ooh. It's yeah, not we... currently being farmed. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've forgotten them on these. Lance, we're stuff. gonna buy you a phone holder, buddy. <laughs> I think we just lost them. Yeah, my phone's shutting down. So just Tyler Ole and Chris Jensen, just those two, or the egg board also? Well, Jim Fletcher. Okay. And I mean, we could refer to the egg, but it's not currently being farmed anymore. Within 500 feet, they want to ask, so. So let's refer to the egg board. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking back some of those uh, subdivisions we talked about this morning uh, involving agricultural land. Should they go to the Ag Board? They're not proposing any development. Oh, okay. Well, you're Thank right. You. Very good. Okay. okay. Forgot I brought it up. Um, I was. What about fire? Uh, probably to look at the driveway. So Cheshire. Cheshire. Yep. Lance is seeker on this? Type two. I would think type two, right, Lance? I think we lost Lance. Okay, I, I think, uh, yeah, with a, a, sing, a site, site plan, I, John, plan. I, think. I think that's it. When do, uh, when do we want to do it? Uh, 13th? 
You can. It doesn't yeah. need a county, so yeah, they're 13. Yep. 13. Single no family. Get it going. Got it. Knowing what lies ahead. Get it off, <laughs> get it off our plate. Okay, take care of that page. I, should I let Lance back in? <laughs> it's the password. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My phone. My phone had died. Okay. But I heard all the comments, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> We'll buy, oh, we'll, we'll buy you a charger. We'll buy you a charger, Lance. <laughs> we went through them all. I can't use my headset and the charger at the same time. It's it's stupid unless I use the Bluetooth, which even drains it faster. Oh, heat when it happens. I know. I know, right? All this technology and they can't figure it out. Uh, what do we got left, guys? That's it. Nothing. That's it. Oh my. Yeah. Well, we did good. Okay, so we got 413, incomplete, 413, off, 413, Costage 4, whoops, that's 427, Hollis 413, So while I got you guys here, um, is Mark's engineering for Metros, are we just doing the amended preliminary? Are we doing final as well? Did they submit? I don't think we can do final, right? I didn't uh, see anything yet as far as the description of what they can do in the conservation area. That's what we're waiting for. Can't do final, but we have that. Okay. I just want to make sure we were on the same page there. Gee, I, I would hope that he could have gotten that done, but... Yeah, I, I really think I mean, I'm only code, I'm only code enforcement and stuff like that, but I'm just it's impossible to enforce a conservation area when it's owned by a private individual. If it's in, owned by a private individual, then they shouldn't be able to build structures and stuff like that on it. I don't know as far as whether you want them to be able to mow it, put gardens on it, forest it, cut trees. That's that's all your call, but I just kind of object to the uh, the structures thing well we can write that out of the uh, easement that's no problem yeah okay agree okay is this meeting done <laughs> i got another one to go to <laughs> hope you're this not meeting. on this hope you're not in this zoom account <laughs> All right. I'm going. All right. Back. Thanks. Thanks, Michelle. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, Thank yeah, you I guess, guys. We're, guess we're done. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you got the ZBA tomorrow night, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good Lance, luck. will you be doing the check sheets for this meeting? I was just going to ask. I might, Chris, you want me to do the checklists for? I think I caught almost all of them. Um, I would just need the information, like the site plans for. For some of them, because I don't have that information. Yeah, send me an email what you need, and I'll get you anything you need. Most of it's been already uploaded by Michelle. Okay, I briefly looked this morning, and I didn't see one of them, but that doesn't mean it's not there now. So, and then there's there's, there's other ones that they actually did send us stuff, like the the one guy that wanted the shed set back to the stream. He actually has a survey. We didn't upload that. She might have it uploaded now. So, if okay. You're anything else. Okay, I'll I'll go in. I'll do a quick look, and then I'll shoot an email to you guys. Is it? Yeah, I mean, is it okay I, that I, you give me till tomorrow to do some of these things? Of, of course, yeah. I mean, okay. Right, if I'm slowing you up, I'll make sure I get through them all. I just want to make here, sure. If I'm slowing you up, I mean, we're all picking up the slack for kind of Eric not being around and stuff. And freaking Eric knew it was his fault. Uh, it's working out. It's working. We can out. blame everything oh, on him. I think you guys are doing a good job. I I commend you for it. I know there's a lot of stuff going on, so. I hey, appreciate, man, I appreciate you picking up the slack there, Lance. Hey, oh, and John always got the professional reports all put together. So <laughs> keeps us all right. All right. 
Lance, just send them to me as you do them, you know, if you do in one or two batches. Yeah, I yeah, I, I understand. Yep. I'll do what I see what I can get done today before I have to leave and then yeah. the rest of them will come tomorrow. But yeah, I'll do maybe two or three at a time, shoot them over. That way it's not slowing you up too much. Yeah, it works good. No, thanks. It's good. See you guys. Right, Chuck, anything on your end? No. Oh, we're all good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay.